Hi guys, it's James the Cricket Badger and another great day for us today on the betting markets in the IPL. Gujarat Lions going down to the Royal Challengers Bangalore. Chris Gale back, bang, bang, bang. And Virat Kohli, fantastic stuff from those two. Just too big a total, wasn't it? Brendan McCullum though, he landed our bet on him and that's uh, basically meant that we're in profit today by 114%. Not a bad day's work. A couple of void bets in there because AB De Villiers unfortunately didn't play. Neither did Samuel Badri, so those avoided off your coupon. So if you back Brendan McCullum and you back the bets that we put up on Cricket Badger, you are absolutely laughing, as we have been all the way through IPL 2017 so far. Let's turn our attention to tomorrow's game. Let's try and make a little bit more, shall we? And have some fun at the same time. Because remember, you're betting for fun. Bet what you can afford. Gamble responsibly. And just make it a thing where you're enjoying the IPL match because you've got a little bit of riding on it yourself as well. But tomorrow's game, Sunrisers Hyderabad are playing on the Delhi Daredevils. Sunrisers, they've won their last three home games and they're at home tomorrow against the Delhi Daredevils side, which to me... I'm still not convinced by them. Gujarat Lions, like, yeah, Delhi Daredevils, they've won a couple and they've looked quite nice. But they, to me, are a similar team to Gujarat Lions. On their day, they can win. But they're going to be Jekyll and Hyde. And I think against the Sunrisers, on their home turf, David Warner will just lead his side to another victory. I think it's 4-6 to six is a really fair price on Sunrisers. I'm going to play double stakes on that tomorrow. 4-6 to six for me is the play there against a Delhi team that are priced at 6-5. to five, And I think will fall short. And as such, the enhanced odds markets with William Hill do give you some value in this market. David Warner to be the top bat and Hyderabad to win his 7-2. And Bhuvneveshwar Kumar to be the top Sunrisers bowler and them to win is 4-1. to one. Like both of those, because those two are the leading men in their field. We'll go down to those fields now and have a look. The fresh pastures of the Sunrisers Hyderabad batting is led by David Warner, 2-1 to one shot for him. So you do get a lesser price, but you're obviously taking away the match context from that bet. And he's basically landed, I think, seven out of the last eight that Sunrisers have played. Only UV Singh has broken that run for him. Played beautifully in the last knock. Fairly cautious and patient innings from David Warner last time out. But it just shows you, he plays the track, he plays the match context, and he's got all of the talent to deliver the leading 50 run scorer in the IPL, he has to be the play here at 2-1. to one. If you're going to look elsewhere, or if you're going to look for a cover bet, Yuvi Singh's in there at 5-1. to one. Shikhar Darwin, who's just been a bit too hit and miss for me, 100-30 to 30 for him. Moses Enriquez, yet to really fire in this competition, 4-1. to one. Mohamed Nabi down there at 10-1. to one. Deepak Huda at 9-1. to one. But you're not going to try and steer me away from David Warner. I think the 2-1 to one on him, better price than the other day. He was 7-4 to four the other day. 2-1 to one on Warner, to me, looks like a real steal. Daily Daredevils, Sanju Sampson has to be the man again. 3-1 to one for him. He leads the market. Now, favourite, because the compadre is starting to realise that he's their best player. Sam Billings, too many pretty 20s for me. I think three times he's got to 20 and not gone on. Yes, he got 150 and he top scored. So he is worthy of consideration in this market. But Sanju Sampson carries the value for me. Elsewhere, Ia, 9 92 Tare, 5 to 1. Nair, 5 to 1. Rishabh Pantu, I really like. Just comes in too low down for me to back him in this market. He's 5 to 1, but he's a future India player. By no means that's of any doubt to me. And Chris Morris is the other one, just to have a little bit of a nibble on here, because if they do lose a hatful of wickets early on, he gets in there. He just bats at an express pace, and he's a really good player. I'd be tempted, actually, if I was them, to actually put him up at the top of the order and say, go in there and do a badgery. Pinch hit. You've got the talent to actually go on and make a really big score. But Morris, he will bat lower down. He's 14 to 1. Just maybe worth a quarter stakes bet on him. Because if he comes in and comes off, he could quite easily land for you. Sunrise's bowling. As I say, Kumar has to be the play. Five for the other day. Leading wicket taker in the competition. Was last year as well. And he, to me, carries all of the value in this market. He bowls the important overs. He takes wickets at an important time. And the only real danger to that bet is Rashid Khan, the Afghan luggy. 100 to 30 for him. Tends to be one of those two. Kumar, more often than not. But Rashid Khan, the only man that can kind of ruin that bet. So if you wanted to just do a little cover bet on Rashid Khan, I wouldn't put you off doing that. But Kumar takes my bet tomorrow at 3 to 1. And Chris Morris for me as well. We keep mentioning him. Delhi Daredevils bowler. Bowls with a bit of pace. Bowls wicket to wicket. Again, like Kumar, bowls those important overs at the death. So he can pick up wickets quite cheaply in that kind of situation. Amit Mishra, 100 to 30. 
He has Kehisa Rabada. I don't, why is he not playing? The South African is a cracking young talent. 100 to 30 for him. Mohamed Shami, 4 to 1. Pat Cummins, 4 to 1. I like him as well. He's got potential there to maybe just ruin our bet. Bowls with a lot of pace and can pick up quick wickets. And Zahir Khan, the evergreen Zahir, the captain, he's 4 to 1. But Morris takes my bet in that market. So just to recap, on the Sunrisers against the Daily Dead, De if I can say it. <coughs> Against the Delhi Daredevils on Wednesday, we're going to go Chris Morris to be the top Delhi bowler at three to one. We're going to go Kumar to be the top Sunrisers bowler at three to one. Sanju Sampson takes our bet three to one for him to be the Delhi Daredevils leading batsman, and it has to be that man, the Aussie David Warner, two to one for the Sunrisers leading run scorer in the match. Like I say, I'm going to have a bet on the Sunrisers to win this one. I think they've recaptured some momentum in the competition. And as such, those enhanced markets do offer some value. Warner and Sunrisers to be the top bat and to win 7-2. Kumar to be the best bowler and Sunrisers to win is a 4-1 to one shot. We'll put you off either of those two either. This will be on the website. This will be on YouTube. Follow us at cricket underscore badger. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll be back tomorrow with some more previews. Hopefully some more winning bet in information for you. But enjoy the IPL. Gamble responsibly. Gamble for fun. Add a bit of value to that match that you're watching. The IPL has been brilliant so far. It's been brilliant to us betting-wise. It's been brilliant entertainment. So carry on enjoying it. Cheers. I'll see you tomorrow, guys.